The Greater and Lesser Worlds of Robert Flood by Jocelyn Goodwin. It's uh, recently published by Inner Traditions. There we go. I, I didn't know Inner Traditions. Uh, they've, they've done a very good job with this. Um, they've clearly cut some corners in, uh, with regards to the um, quality of the materials, but uh, for the price, I am more than satisfied. In fact, there are uh, aspects to this which I would not expect to see in such, a, such an inexpensive um, production. So you can see that there is a, a, a reasonably nice dust jacket. Um, I know a lot of people don't like dust jackets and <clears throat> in fact what you find underneath is equally pretty. Uh, the, uh, the texture is um, this, this gel text, right? It's this um, uh, uh, texturized paper and the spine is in this nice gold lettering, The Greater and Lesser Worlds of Robert Flood. For those of you who don't know Robert Flood, he was a, um, uh, a, a Renaissance man at the end of the 17th, sorry, end of 16th and uh, beginning of 17th century. Uh, and his goal was to document all of human knowledge in illustrated uh, form. His idea was to make the first illustrated encyclopedia, and you might say that he succeeded in this. Um, a, a lot of his ideas were hit and miss, <laughs> unfortunately or possibly fortunately. He certainly had some, some very interesting ideas. A lot of his, uh, his understanding of the world came from, um, came from a, a hermetic uh, tradition and uh, he's also said to have been part of the Rosicrucian Brotherhood uh, fraternity um, although the preface here or rather the first chapter Flood's Life and Work explains that yeah, the Rosicrucians were not um, necessarily a, a, a real brotherhood but rather a fantasy brotherhood um, and many people were very upset at not being accepted into the Brotherhood, which never existed in the first place. Uh, here we are. So that's, um, that's what the first chapter is about. Um, everything after the first chapter, uh, let me show you. So you can see that each, um, each part of, of chapter is noted, oh, come on, sorry about this, is noted with, um, with yeah, the number of the chapter and the number of the item. And everything after the first chapter is just illustration after illustration. Every single page has got an illustration and a, an explanation for the illustration. The explanation comes from Jocelyn Goodwin, the author of this book, but he adds many quotations directly from Robert Flood in his own words. There we go. So a lot of these illustrations are, are, are very well known. Uh, they're very well recognized. Maybe not this particular one. Uh, let me find you one that you're sure to have, uh, to have seen. It's um, this this one over here, which describes the the three parts of uh, a, a man's soul. Um, the world of senses and the world of imagination and the world of the intellect um, with uh, with uh, right in the back, uh, the, the memory. So where these meet is uh, hic anima est. Uh, so uh, here is the, uh, the the soul. Here is the soul. Here is the soul. Okay. Um, another very famous one might. Um, uh, let me see. Am I going to find it? Yes, this is a very famous one, with. Uh, of the cosmos. Yeah, 
with um, with Mother Nature here being chained to uh, God, and then this human ape being chained to Mother Nature. He represented humans as apes very regularly, um, uh, in the sense of humans aping uh, Mother Nature. He got a lot of um, uh, a lot of his science right, and he got a lot of his science wrong. Uh, some of it is quite amusing to read about. Um, yeah, his experiments are are described in in detail, and uh, uh, the the reasons given, the the um, the conclusions drawn from his experiments um, are, are sometimes sometimes hilarious <laughs> um, but uh, but but never never boring that's for sure um, I'd say the book makes a, a really nice coffee table book uh, I I wouldn't suggest that it's necessarily uh, deep uh, forgotten esoteric knowledge or anything like that um, it's a it's a very beautiful book it's a very um, as in um uh, yeah th this this particular version of the tree of life i had no idea this was robert flood yeah I, in fact uh, yeah many, many of these of these illustrations i i knew i just didn't know that they were by him So right in the back, uh, there is there are some uh, appendices, uh, although I'd say that they're more like notes, right? They're, they're notes on um, uh, on particular items in the in the book. There's a couple of uh, uh, additional illustrations in the appendices. There are four, uh, and and a couple more notes. Interesting one of there about star jelly and a bibliography. There we go. So um, let me show you a couple of things that uh, that have bothered me. Uh, although once again, I'll I'll point out how inexpensive the book is. You know the the production process of making these books is not as careful as what you'd get with a uh, with a bespoke uh, publisher right um, uh, as a as a, a an amateur of esoteric books I, I, I I'm a little spoiled right I, I kind of get used to these um, very very expensive uh, tomes um, but um, but yeah you, you'll have yeah so that that wasn't great um, the um, in the bottom here, you can see the headband has been glued on completely, completely wrong, completely crooked. Uh, and in fact, it, it doesn't even appear at the top. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, those, those would be my, my two, um, my, my two uh, not so happy points. In terms of the, the the rest, in terms of the build of the the book itself, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the the pages are sewn; they're they're glued to the spine, but nevertheless, the um, uh, the uh, the signatures are are sewn. The paper itself is it's a little pulpy; it's uh, it's not bad. Um, uh, I'm I'm really, to be honest with you, I'm really impressed with the way they've managed to clean these these images up so well uh, so that it looks like they were designed for this edition in the first place uh, yeah you know I, I would have kind of expected to see like you know gray outlines <laughs> but uh, but no they they've they've done a really nice job with that uh, so so yeah in terms of most of this I'd say I'd say you're getting a lot for your money in fact a lot for your money I'm certainly very satisfied and yeah those those little uh, quirks of uh, 
of, of mass production. Uh, yeah, they, they honestly don't worry me at all. I thought I'd mention them nevertheless so that you don't go imagining that you're getting a, a 200 pound book for the, for the, for the price of, a, uh, of, a, of just a, a nice hardcover. Okay, so those are my thoughts about uh, this this very nice volume. Uh, it makes a really nice coffee table book because you can literally just open it on any page and there's something interesting uh, to read. You don't need to have read the whole book up to that point. Each page is self-sufficient uh, under under some, some very interesting um, uh, uh, topics, right? Um, uh, I've... I've made this review several times so I can't remember if I've shown you the uh, the contents page please um, uh, feel free to, to skip to the end if I have already uh, I, uh, what we get is how the world is made nature's ape how man is made psychology and divination Kabbalah anatomy meteorology universal medicine and then the appendices which I've shown you already Yep, so that's it guys. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, and thanks very much for watching. See you soon.